Ukraine says its counteroffensive is gaining ground and that it has recaptured a string of villages near the front lines. Russia released this footage claiming it captured some German Leopard 2 tanks and U.S.-made Bradley fighting vehicles. It also launched another deadly round of rocket strikes. Here's CTV's Danielle Hamamjan. Trees and vehicles completely charred, the result of a massive missile attack, officials said. The sirens had blared across the whole of Ukraine, but this time the missiles fell on the hometown of the country's president striking an apartment building and warehouses. I'm still confused how it all happened, she said. At first there was a loud bang, the cars went on fire, the window here was blown out. Body bags next to a children's playground. At least 11 people were killed. The death toll is among the highest from a single attack. More than 15 months after he sent his troops into Ukraine, Vladimir Putin admitted today his country does not have enough weapons and drones. Speaking at a meeting with Russian war reporters and bloggers, the president declined to say whether Moscow would launch a new offensive in response to Ukraine's counter-assault that began last week. Only that the enemy's losses were catastrophic. Ukrainian forces in the southeastern village of Neskuchna tell a different story. Here, no building was left unscathed, but now flying above what used to be the grocery store is the blue and yellow flag. Three days ago, Russian forces were still here. We chased them out, he said all gone except for the remains of three Russian soldiers. Ukraine says the number of liberated villages is growing. The counteroffensive is still in its early days, with tens of thousands of fresh Ukrainian troops and Western armored vehicles yet to be deployed. Danielle Hamamjan, CTV News, London.